marriage. Question, does having some ambition in life mean that we are maintaining our mental attachments and are committing the 10th offense to the holy name? Answer, not necessarily. We all have our prescribed duties. And if we are students, we have our decided to study. If we are grahastha, then we have a prescribed duty with respect to our whatever profession we have. And normally we cannot do any activity with dedication or inspiration unless there is some direction, unless there is some motivation, unless there is some objective in it. Now, when Krishna says karmandevadikaraste, work without being attached to the fruit of the work, now we shouldn't mistake detachment to be irresponsibility. Detachment and irres irresponsibility means one doesn't care for the results. Detachment means one does one's duty, but one doesn't demand the results. Knowing that there is always a higher factor and a higher plan involved. Sometimes we may do our work and results may not come also. So, as uh, if you look at the Mahabharata, we do see that Arjuna had the ambition. He wanted to become the greatest archer. Bhima had ambition, he wanted to become the greatest mace fighter and that ambition did not take, uh, that was not considered to be offensive but that was something which he used for serving Krishna so is now we shouldn't get too much into the zone of whether it is a material attachment or not because ultimately as long as we have a body we have to act to maintain the body and rather than focusing on whether something is a material attachment or not we should focus on how much can it be used in devotional service? So, if we go too much into the zone of analyzing whether something is a material attachment, then we may just become too paralyzed. For example, if somebody makes a joke in a class and we laugh, then we think, am I laughing because of my material attachment to humor? Am I laughing for my own sense gratification? It's sort of unnecessary analysis. So yes, if a devotee has a career and wants to advance in the career, that's not necessarily a material attachment. If that that ambition doesn't take the devotee away from Krishna. Now we have to have some fixed time for our sadhana, and we have to have time for seva, for sangha. For, so as long as we are doing our basic devotional activities, in the remaining time that we have, we should have ambition. That's how we'll be able to do our activities wholeheartedly. Now, when is it um, the tenth offense? Actually, that is primarily with respect to sinful material attachments. There are sinful and there are pious material attachments. So for a person to want to do one's uh, swadharma in a proper way, that you, somebody, it could be called as an attachment, but the important point is that is also a part of dharma. Whereas a person doing something sinful, like say uh, illicit sex with somebody outside marriage or gambling or meat eating, these are actually sinful activities. So those sort of attachments we have to give up definitely. And the other attachment, there is a progression by which we will be able to give them up. So we shouldn't, at the stage of the practice of our sadhana bhakti, our focus should be more on how we can serve Krishna most effectively. And if we are in a particular ashram or a particular position where we have to do a particular swadharma, then having ambition for that swadharma is not necessarily pratikun to bhakti if it doesn't diva, drag us away from Krishna. In fact, having an ambition will also be able to make us put heart into it. And through that vocation also, we can glorify Krishna. And because if a devotee is doing a particular profession uh, partic and is doing it in a very uh, irresponsible or indifferent way, that is anti-preaching. The devotees become good for nothing when they become devotees. On the other hand, if a devotee is doing something competently, people are attracted. Now Krishna, I said, Yadhyadhacharati Sreshtas. That as the great people do, common people act accordingly. So actually when Krishna is telling this to Arjuna, he is also telling Arjuna that he should act like a Sreshta. So the devotees, when whatever they are doing, they should try to do it well, so that they can set a benchmark by which people become attracted. Now, we shouldn't get so caught up in doing material things well and pursuing our ambitions, that we leave no time for Krishna consciousness. No. There has to be a balance and the balance is that we give up the necessary time for our Krishna conscious practices but along with that whatever time we are spending in our material, uh, or material duties we can do them wholeheartedly and we can have ambition also. But what we should do is spiritualize that ambition rather than thinking that yes I will become 
the best employee of my company and I'll get the best employee award so that everybody will know how great I am. No, we'll do that so that people will see how glorious Krishna is. For the Krishna, if Krishna's devotees are good at certain things, through that people will get appreciation for Krishna. Through that devotee's accomplishments. So we can change our, we don't have to necessarily give up our occupation, but we can change the motivation for that occupation. We can change the motivation for the ambition within that occupation. It should not, it's not our own glorification, it is Krishna's glorification. And with that mood in mind, we can do a lot. We know Bhakti Thakur is a magistrate and just by his conduct, the way he would do judge cases, the way he had an integrity in his vocation, many Indians and many even Britishers were attracted to him. And that was one of the reasons why he was so successful in re-establishing Gaudiya Vaishnavism during his times in Bengal. So he's a good model for us, but at the same time we also see that he gave adequate time for his sadhana and his preaching. But whatever time he was spending in his job as a magistrate, he was doing it competently, in fact gloriously. So definitely uh, that is the example that devotees can emulate when they are trying to work in their uh, professions and having some ambitions accordingly. Thank you.